the weekend. Went over the weekend, <laughs> and on Monday they yeah. come in and <gasps> look, the Helicobacter pylori is here. And so for the remaining of the hundred patients, they they changed the profile and they did an awesome discovery. Hello, Nick. Hello, yours. Hey, in this show, we often speak about infectious diseases. We do and, indeed. Um, there's many amazing discoveries in that space. And I was thinking that maybe you have uh, a favorite story to share with us mm. about a discovery in the infectious disease space. Yeah, uh, boy, that's a that's a difficult question. You know, it's a difficult time. It's like trying to pick your favorite. Yeah. Trying to pick your favorite child. Right? <laughs> yeah. There's so many good good discoveries. And you know, one of my one of my favorites is perhaps uh, you know one of the most uh, interesting, at least from from my perspective, in terms of its contentiousness. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, is the discovery of Helicobacter pylori oh, yeah. and its role in causing uh, peptic ulcers. Yeah. yeah, in the stomach. In yeah. the stomach. Yeah. So, for those of us who haven't heard the story, perhaps um, there was a uh, a very famous discovery in the 1980s from two researchers, um, Barry Marshall and Robin Ware, both mm -hmm. in Australia. And they were physicians and they had this theory about um, peptic ulcers being uh, caused or associated with a, a type of bacterium. In this case, Helicobacter pylori gram negative. It looks uh, like the name implies, looks like a little helical bacterium, kind of mm -hmm. a cool looking thing. Mm -hmm. And they would find it associated with, with ulcers. And they, <clears throat> in the 80s, they had a, a research grant, as, as researchers yeah, often yeah. do, to, to investigate this thing. And they were looking at, uh, they had a, a, a research uh, grant to look at 100 patients. They're doing uh, swabs, oral swabs, of, of people who presented with peptic ulcers. And they're trying to culture this bacteria. It's a fascinating story. Uh, and in the first 30 patients, the swabs would come in, and they didn't, they didn't detect the bacteria in this, mm -hmm. in this case. But on the 30th, they did. And you know what happened? This is no. crazy. So helicobacter, as, as a microbiologist, you'll mm -hmm. appreciate this. They are micro aerophiles and they, they don't grow well in oxygen, mm -hmm. unlike us. And they have a really long growth period. So in the first 30 cases, mm -hmm. the, the organisms were, you know, as, as we do in a microbiology lab, you grow them for 48 hours, you don't see anything, throw it in the garbage. On the 30th one, happened on a Thursday, let it grow to 30, 48 hours, and of course, that's the weekend. Went over the weekend, <laughs> and on Monday, they yeah. come in and, oh, look, the Helicobacter pylori is here. And so for the remaining of the 100 patients, they, they changed the profile, and, and they did an awesome discovery, right, yeah, how you yeah. find these things? Mm -hmm. And still, contentious, mm -hmm. right? We found the bacteria in this case. And, it was, and to prove a point, uh, one of the researchers, I think, it was, uh, I, think, I think it was Barry Marshall, grew up a pure culture of Helicobacter pylori, wow and said to his colleagues, I'm gonna take a, a swab of my stomach, see if it's there, it wasn't there, and then we're gonna take a culture of the bacteria, pure culture, yeah. and we'll drink it, and we'll see if it causes an ulcer. So, drink it, and then later on, and it, it's great, and the actual, and the journal talks about him getting bad breath and his wife detecting it, <laughs> and he got an ulcer from the from, pure culture. And then was able to cure it later on, but using antibiotics. Of course, because yeah. you could you have antibiotics and you treat it, and that is that was the yeah, discovery the of, of Helicobacter pylori as role in gastric ulcers. Absolutely, that's an amazing story. Isn't that amazing? I believe Good they story. got the Nobel Prize for it. They did indeed, uh, 2005. Great, well, that's a fascinating story, Nick. Thanks for great? sharing that with us. Thanks for the opportunity. Have a great day. Have a great day.